Hey, how's it going, Poka fam? It is Tuesday. I am Cypher Noir, and I messed that whole thing up. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Poka fam? It's Cypher Noir. It is Tuesday, and I have Pokemon cards. I ordered from Princess M Collectibles on TCG Player. I will link their shop in the description. I want to make sure that I don't accidentally cut through my cards. Um, so I ordered, well it's been a, like a couple of weeks now. Um, so I ordered, I feel like a couple, or a, a couple of base set cards that I needed, or it was mostly base set two. And um, I would just like to say A plus uh, packaging job. Um, base set two and some fossil and uh, jungle cards since all I have left for the base sets are to order the um, like first 16 or something like that and I have some of the first 16 so like uh, one of my previous videos I ordered a Zapdos and all that um, so we had obviously the bubble mailer was folded in half and taped so it's extra safe and then it's taped again so I gotta cut that um, and their prices were pretty reasonable again you know I am a big fan of the bubble mailers especially for shipping cards and it's put between two beautiful beautiful you know what's not more beautiful than it's not more beautiful than you. Um, <laughs> two beautifully taped sections of cardboard. Get those cut open. Whoop bam! They're all. They, there's even an extra little rag. Um, sorry for all that loud noises. Um, so it's in a little bag. It's got. Um, oh, to ruin my collection. Um, little bag. And they're all in sleeves, which I appreciate. I ordered like 20 cards from them. So obviously we got Pokemon Breeder, which was the last non hollow foil card I needed for the base set. We've got the we've got Bill from base set two. Defender from base set two. Electabuzz, Energy Retrieval, Executor, Full Heal, Growlithe, Gust of Wind, Haunter, Imposter Professor Oak, Ivysaur, Kadabra, Magikarp. Oh. Get them all mixed up. I'd like to keep those organized a little bit. Plus power. Pokeball. Eradicate. Sand True. Squirtle. If that is lightly played. Wait a second. That. I think these all said that they were lightly played or um, damaged. Like, look at that. That is... Okay, so I can see a little bit, like, up at the top here. But, like, there's very little whitening. Are you kidding me? That's not lightly played. But thank you for the... <laughs> for the really good card. I did it again. Um, super energy removal. Switch. War turtle. Moderately played? Like, it doesn't seem like it's moderately played, but all right, like... We've got Gambler from the Fossil Set. We've got Mr. Fuji, which also says that it's moderately played. And then we've got a first edition Marowak from the Jungle Set, which I'm really happy about. Um, so what I like to try to do when I, when I place big orders is I try to buy as many of the, like, especially older sets, um, from the same seller as possible, so I'm getting as few packages as possible. But the cool thing about TCG Player is that you can, um, put a whole bunch of cards, like, you can type in, like, Wartortle, and, um, 
you know, if you're just ordering a bunch of War Turtle cards, you can put a bunch of them in your cart, and even though they're not from the same seller, you can check out all at once, and it takes it all in one payment, and it's not like 80 different payments, um, which is really nice, personally, in my opinion, for me, um, just because I hate having to check out eight different times. Uh, but I do like to try to buy from the same seller, just so that when I make these videos, I'm not getting a bunch of different packages. If you would prefer that, let me know. Um, you can comment that down below. Again, I will put Princess Princess M in uh, their shop in the description. These are really beautifully kept cards, and I think I paid like $30 for all of these, which isn't bad. I know the Pokemon Breeder was a little more expensive. I think Marowak was like $2. Um, Mount Fuji, or Mr. Fuji, was like 2 or $3, um, just because it is a rare... Oh, it's an uncommon, but I know that it's a really hard card to find. Um, so, I, I try to, I try to, like, break it up so that the shops that I'm ordering from get a little bit of a spotlight, especially, um, if I have a bad experience, because I'd rather let you guys know that, hey, maybe avoid this person, um... And it seems like the only time that I've had that is when it's somebody who doesn't know Pokemon very well or how to price Pokemon and they just kind of send them in uh, envelopes. But the definitely the uh, experienced sellers have the bubble, the bubble mailers and all that stuff. So let me know what your favorite card is from this poll. Um, I know it's not like a poll poll, uh, just because like I know the cards that I'm getting. I put them all in my cart. <laughs> um, but definitely let me know which card is your favorite from from this order. And I I think honestly Haunter is my favorite, but that's just because I have a thing for ghost Pokemon, y'all know that. Um, and if you don't at this point, that's okay. You should definitely follow my channel. Uh, I post videos every Tuesday, every Thursday, and whenever I get sponsored, I do Saturday. Uh, Saturday videos and um, you should definitely check those out. Tuesdays are Pokemon card or our trading cards, Thursdays are merchandise, Saturdays are obviously like I said sponsored videos and uh, <laughs> hit that bell to let you know that I've posted. So I'm saying so a lot in this video. I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> But I will see you guys in the next video. Stay cool, Poker Fam.